Friends, as we approach the Shloishim of Rabbi David Shochad, Zichroin I want to share the following story. A friend of mine, by the name of Ariel Consister, he came over to me a few days ago, and he tells me the following story, and he asked me to share it. Uh, some years ago, he was experiencing some financial uh, challenges. He was working for a private company. Uh, but it just wasn't doing the job. It wasn't really paying the bills. And he tried this and the other and this opportunity, but just nothing was, was working. Nothing was coming up. And so one day, he approaches Rabbi Shochat in the morning after prayers, and he pours out his heart to Rabbi Shochat about his life, Parnasse issues. And he asks Rabbi Shochat for some advice, a blessing, something. And Rabbi Shochat tells him, you know what, come back to me in three days. Come back to me in three days, and I'll have, a, I'll have an answer for you. In three days, he comes back to Rabbi Shochat, and Rabbi Shochat says, I'd like you to be careful to be meticulous in reciting the daily Psalms of Tehillim after, uh, after uh, prayer in the morning. The daily psalms that we say every single day divided by the month. And so he did. And he was meticulous every morning. And he has never missed a morning since then. And actually, some a few months later, thank God, I came up an opportunity with the Crown Corporation, a government job. And thank God, his Parnassa majorly improved. And this is after many, many, a while of trying many, many things. Baruch Hashem Rabbi Shachat knew every person, which person, which thing, which item is the right item to do for the blessing that he needs in his financial, in his case, life. On a personal note, I once came to Rabbi Shachat some years ago, and I say, I say to him, Rabbi Shachat, when darf sein gesund. You gotta take care of yourself. You gotta be healthy. And Rabbi Shachat tells me, okay, uh, hear me, what, what do you have in mind? I didn't expect, uh, that. And I, uh, thought for a few minutes. And I said, uh, how about swimming? Swimming. And so for the next two years, every single week, thank God I arranged, uh, Rabbi Shachat and I to swim at the Sparta Kihila Center in Toronto. Every single week, I got to say, Rabbi Shachar was a great, great swimmer. Fantastic swimmer. swimmer. And, uh, yes. And so, so the Rebbe Shter Helfen, the Rabbi Shachat, the Rav of our community, Toronto, he should ask upon high for him and his, fat, for his family and for all of us that we should have all the blessings materially and spiritually, and may he ask for the ultimate blessing for the coming of Mashiach now. Thank you.